Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Last time I discovered that, uh... I apparently have this old Dead Space OG suit. Because I own the original game. Go figure. I think I might switch it back. Tell you what, we'll do this episode like this. Maybe we can find a store on the other side. Ah. But. The, hmm. Alright, I thought I was going to call the tram and go there, but. Can I. Oh! There is something here. Oh, it doesn't go out all the way. I see, I see. Here. I don't love that. What was that? A bunch of scratch marks on the ground. Actually, those might just be industrial. There's a bench here, an elevator with no walls. I guess I do like the sound of getting more uh, stasis duration, so to reach that, I guess I'll put the node into air. Since I have no choice but to do that for the suit. Air increased from 70 seconds to 80 seconds. Hooray! Is that sound? It sounds like a giant fan. I mean, there were fans in the lights there, but oh dear! These poor bastards. System check. System reboot. Primary dot system dot online. Secondary dot system dot online. Checking dot water dot filtration. Water dot filtration dot damaged. Advise dot shutdown. System dot check dot restart. Storage quarantined cargo. Requires uh, security clearance. No release without bridge authorization. Dragonfly, making the virtual real. I think it's a video game of some kind. Or I guess rather a video game console. A VR headset. Good luck finding a place to use it here where you wouldn't be tripping over shit all the time. There's stuff jutting out of the walls all over the fucking place. Medical cargo depot. Caution, hard status materials in transit. Hazardous. Achievement unlocked. Complete. Uh, welcome aboard. Complete chapter one on any difficulty setting. Chapter one, new arrivals completed. Chapter two, intensive care. Retrieve the captain's rig. I'm going to use the same terrible, terrible pun that I used for this episode in the uh, original series, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, well, of course, you guys have seen it already. There's most of a dude on top of this uh, brick, along with a kinesis module. Let's ignore it, because it's clearly important. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. It's almost like it doesn't go anywhere. Weird. I 
goes right through this enormous brick. That's a stack of uh, cargo containers. On top of a strange object with a glowing logo on the side, it says GRIP enabled. One of those caution things, and an image of a magnet. Let's get this kinesis module. More crackling. He attached that one to his other arm. Kinesis module. Use kinesis to move objects. Right, left trigger to aim. Hold, uh, and hit B to use kinesis. A, a beam of energy links my hand to, uh, the object I blasted. It washes over it completely so it's glowy and blue like a slowed down thing. And I guess I move and so does it. Shove these enormous crates out of the way. I'm guessing this is going in the chairs. I think this might be where the poker game was. What the hell is that? That's nothing. This workstation is locked. It's a really odd, the uh, prominent computer in that back corner. Don't let them out, don't let them out, says security officer. A person! God of all the line. They all came back. Oh. You're impaled. Pulse rifle? That was not the second weapon you got the first time around. Rest in peace, lady. It doesn't look like a usual, like, science fiction gun. A new weapon has been added to the inventory. To use it, add it to the weapon wheel. Pulse rifle. Military-grade assault rifle with a high rate of fire. Uh, how do I... Ah, okay, the weapon wheel's the, the thing on the D-pad, sure. Let's put it on the right, instead of the top. I've only got 50 shots and zero in reserve, so I will, uh... Yes, I got that part. Quickly select which weapon to equip using the weapon wheel. Alt-fire is proximity mines. Place a charge and it explodes when enemies approach it. It's got, like... This is a very strange-looking rifle. The back of it is, uh, cir is cylindrical, sitting on top of a, like, shoulder brace. And the part in front of that is almost, like, triangular. It's got three metal plates sticking off from each other. Well, not really a triangle. But, uh... Yeah, they're ranged like that. And it seems to have three barrels on each of the... Or, uh, uh, one on each of the metal plates that's arranged in, uh... uh an upside-down Y shape, I should say. I guess there's another one in the middle, because the, uh, the targeting reticle, when I point the laser at the wall, is, uh... Well, it's three dots like the Predator, with one more in the middle. She appears to have been impaled by a, uh... An organic spike. Ah... Is that a hand? Yeah, I think she chopped the rest of it off. But it was too late. There's two of them here that are just torsos. These security guards must have really given them hell. A body bag with a person in it. There's four more. At least they, I guess they started to you know, follow procedures before everything went to hell. Got all turned around, that's how. Tram stations. Use the dashboards to unlock tram stations and re enable travel through the Ishimura. Override station lockdown. That seems like a really bad idea, given that I don't need to be here. Oh, here's another person tucked in the corner in a body bag. 
Although the arms and head are so well defined compared to real body bags that it almost seems like a sex thing. <laughs> right, let's save. Oh boy. To security station, welcome to USG Ishimura. What is my... Retrieve the captain's rig. That's right. I need to retrieve the captain's rig from the morgue. Nicole worked here on the medical deck. If there's any sign of her, it'll be here. I should probably push that. Lockdown overridden. Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. And the tram is rolled in. This one looks a lot better than the other one did. I didn't even realize this thing in the middle was meant to be a door. It's not opening. Alright. And I don't need to use it anyway, it's just... A medical table covered in blood. A second one. Oh, here's just a whole bunch of shit that's been thrown in the way to make a barricade. Great! Kinesis! Ah, oh, you can throw things with it. Okay, okay, I just wanted to check. You can pick up the dead bodies. Security station. No officer available due to shipwide emergency. Oh no! There is just a whole bunch of unidentifiable meat on the floor here, with blood splattered everywhere, and it's all concentrated really, really hard into about a four-foot space. Oh, but there's also gore and blood everywhere in this room. Amazing. Video call. Isaac, have you heard from Daniels? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. Nicole could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. That was my thought. Retrieve the captain's rig. But it's red now. I can't reach the morgue until I find a way through the barricade. Destroy the barricade. The crew barricaded access to the morgue. Once I put together an explosive, I can blow that barricade and get into the emergency wing. Find a hydrazine tank. I need something explosive to blow open the barricade. There should be hydrazine refill tanks in zero-G therapy. Uh, find a shock pad. A small explosive charge will get me through the barricade, but I need a detonator. A shock pad to do the trick. There should be one in bioprosthetics. Destroy the barricade. Under credits. Need help? Simply pick up the closest security phone, and the Ishimura security team will be there for you. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Hero Jelly! It works! Is that even meant to be food? Damn camera. Zero G is what that magazine says. Oh, it's the store! I thought this was a door. I wasn't really looking at it. I still can't afford that. That's fair. Oh, new item. No, it wasn't. DSO8. I like that. What made them do the- oh, boy. 
this little administration room behind the uh, desk is just full of guts. Like, there's... Those are intestines spilled all over the fucking floor. And something clearly ripped a hole in this wall in order to get in here. They even killed all the computers. These things are really violent. That's interesting, this locker has security clearance. What? I really hope you guys heard that. Alright, I'll push the damn button. Ah. Uh, to Research Wing, welcome to USG Ishimura. Welcome to the USG Ishimura Clinic, with a bunch of pictures of cross-sections of the body. Mostly skulls. Here's one and a half dead bodies. So right two and a half, I didn't see you there. Here's an engineer who's only missing an arm. Ah, no, that's a leg. I was expecting to be the other side of this door. No access, uh, critical door malfunction. Where would you be without science? Contact maintenance, of course. Immediately. I was uh, sort of thinking about stuff just there, and I realized I really can't be doing that in this game, because it could be anywhere. Main lab. Impaling and throwing. Grab loose objects with kinesis. Throw sharp objects at enemies to impale them. Hold uh, L and hit B to kinesis a thing. Hold L and hit R to impale or throw. I don't see a bunch of sharp shit right in front of me, you would expect. Hazardous anomaly ah. detected. Quarantine activated. I've got a pipe, a spike. And I stuck into a fucking wall. Nail! Oh, 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 there's another one. Do I have another spike to insta-kill him? I don't think there's even a limited energy supply for this uh, kinesis thing. You know what? Oh! Okay, no more fanciness. Let's blow his fucking legs off. And that arm. Oh! Right behind me. Oh, God. I blew that guy's chest cavity wide open. I didn't even slow him down. What was that? Oh, I recognize that shape! Uh, pulse rounds. Ammunition for the pulse rifle. These ballistic rounds are standard issue for CEC and PCSI security staff. Whatever that is. Ah, oh, better. I thought I could grab this because it had lights on it. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, here's a trick I, uh, remember. You can use kinesis to just grab objects. Credits, 400. No! I thought that was literally growing out of the ground in front of me, the spike arm. Uh, no, he was just rolling over as I was hitting this body. Piece of shit. Oh, those are such good sound effects. Oh my god, the blood even pools on the ground underneath them in this game. I didn't notice that. Oh, that guy was probably there for electroshock therapy, but he's now quite smoking. Oh no. I don't love that sound at all. It's 
not something I can pick up. That's a shiny. It's not glowing, it's just reflective. Oh, my. Break his damn legs off. Still pinned to the wall. I don't think he's going to be a problem. There's the timer. I'll just see if there's a save point near. Oh, I can't hear them up there. Fuck that. Biohazard, huh? Great. Watch the vents. Quarantined. Oh, there's another one here, and I haven't killed him yet. But, I mean, he doesn't want to come out. I don't know what to tell you. I can hear him up in the vents. Oh, maybe I can use this elevator. Lower floor. Oh, there you are! Please don't uh, be her. I guess all their hair falls out when they turn into one of these things. No, it doesn't pause when I do that. I need to do this first. Mm. It does pause when I hit pause, but I was actually trying to hit the other one. Quarantine lifted. Interesting. The second they were dead, it knew. Fuck! I accidentally used my, uh, big health kit. Ah! Oh, well, fuck that noise. I'm actually loading from that. I'll do the outro here. Auto save. Five minutes and 52 seconds. Well, at least that's kind of them. Ah, it's the room where they taught me about the spikes. Okay. I was going to run up here because the lighting is better, but it's probably really loud over here next to this thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wonder why in the world there would be a visual indicator of how much stasis energy you have on your back. Like, I get that the, uh, the health bar is there so other people can keep an eye on you, but you're the only one who needs to know how much stasis energy you have. Ah, well. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Dead Space. When you press on further into medical. And, uh... Let's just remove a few more of these things from the world, huh? Focus on that and getting that hydrazine bomb. Maybe everything will turn out okay. I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!